Hello there, everybody. This is Seawap the Plan One here. I have to do that for thinking. Welcome back to Let's Play Donkey Kong Country for EGF. I have to say this because I I'm on a different channel and I'm not on my own channel. I am sorry, folks. Okay, maybe I won't do that all the time, but still. Anyway, last time we got started on this little quest to get back all of our bananas and junk, and I had a pretty epic run-in with a glitch of some kind. So today we're going to head off to Monkey Mines. First level being Winky's Walkway. This is going to introduce us to yet another sort of friend, animal friend of the Kongs of sorts. And yeah, it's our first level that has this music, of course. I like this track. What I also like is this buddy, Winky the Frog. He can jump high, he can also kill airborne enemies with ease, Also, and also he's not affected by the bee enemies, the zingers. That's the best part. He is invulnerable to the zingers for some arbitrary reason. I don't know how, but it is. Also, you're gonna need Winky in order to get these uh, banana bunches right here that that are ten coins apiece. So, yeah, yeah. See, right there, right there. He's not the, he's not affected by any sort of zinger whatsoever. Nope. And that's it gonna need him in order to get across all the way over to here and stuff. So now we're gonna get introduced to one of my favorite songs in the game, of course, and one of my favorite gimmicks in the game as well. The minecarts in Minecart Carnage. So all you really have to do is just jump at the proper time here. The, the level is automatic so you don't have to worry about moving left or right or anything. You just have to worry about jumping at the right time. Now you might be thinking, oh, all you do is jump. That makes this level somewhat hard, right? Well, kinda. Well, if you want any sort of bonuses here, like those banana bunches right there, uh, you're gonna wanna have to have, like, reflexes of a god. Because, yeah. <laughs> That's all I can really say, just have reflexes of a god, you know? Just that. Anyway, I died, so I have to start all over again. I didn't even hit that checkpoint yet, and I died. I thought Fraps was supposed to be good, not cause a little bit of a delay. Okay, it doesn't cause a delay, but still. A little bit of a warning would have been nice. Ma'am. Or whatever gender this game is. I don't know, it was made by men. Alright, so, anyway, ah! Great. I got hit by a minecart right there, or by a broken minecart right there, so I lost the con. Now I just can't get hit another time, but then I'll be dead. But that's okay, I got a life right there. And now it's at the point where Kremlings and minecarts will start to come at you, and you have to have reflexes again. That's all. That's really the best advice I can offer you in this sort of level, is that you need reflexes, like, mad, because you're gonna have to jump at the proper time. You know what's convenient, by the way? How they have a DK barrel at at the point where you die and stuff. Or rather, at the point where you get the checkpoint. That's convenient. The game's being nice. And yeah, you're gonna have to jump at the proper time in order to get that one up. So, yeah. As soon as you see a Kremlin come up at the screen, all you really have to do is just worry about jumping and stuff. And once you get that G, just jump right there. Just jump. Do it. Do it. Ah! Jesus. Alright. So, yeah, we're just jumping, jumping. Now here's the point where you might want to concentrate a little bit, because you're frantically trying to jump, 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 and then there's that last dick one that tries to dick with you. And yeah, that's it. And now we come up to the next level, uh, Bouncy Bonanza. This is the level where everything bounces. And you're gonna wanna have to use bouncing techniques. Like bouncing off of enemies, bouncing off these little bit of tires here. How are you supposed to jump off these tires here? I have no idea. Maybe it's because, like, it's like the age old tradition where, uh, monkeys like tire swings, I guess. Inspiration, maybe? Maybe, maybe not. Okay, maybe it is, but... 
Lord knows why. I ask why. No, you don't ask why. You ask when. <laughs> Alright, so you're going to want to get that tire up there in order to get this N. And I do believe... Yeah, just... Uh, just Well, this is basically the top path of sorts. And it leads to a little bit of a secret. This thing, which leads to another Winky. Huzzah. Uh, that came out wrong. I apologize. <laughs> if you took it the wrong way, I apologize. <laughs> I'm supposed to be family friendly here. This is a PG rated game. Or an E rated game. Or K to A rated game, as it was back then. Because, for those of you who don't know or don't care, I think this game came before, like, the official E or E. SRB system came into play. Like, I think this game was rated K to A, Kids to Adults. Of course, this was before uh, Mortal Kombat came in and, like, said, Hey! We have blunned our game. Go ahead and go with your rating system, you stupid people. Yeah. But then again, modern day Rare Rare games, as in, well, the N64 era Rare Rare games were not as Rady E friendly as we figured. Mm hmm. I'm talking about you, Conquerors Bad Fur Day, rated M, and Benjo Kazooie and Tui, rated E for everyone, my ass. <laughs> so, anyway, stop and go station. Oh boy, this level. This level is freaking creepy. Oh, because of these things, these crocs right here. Um, the main gimmick of this level is the stop and go barrels right here. If you touch them, if you touch the stop and go barrels, uh, these little enemies right here, they will go to sleep. Of sorts. And you cannot, you cannot kill them. They are unkillable. Uh, so, yeah. All you really have to worry about is just, well, tapping these things at the proper time. And, yeah. The best advice I can offer you is just to... You know, as soon as you hit that stop-and-go barrel, you run for your life. Just run, man. And I think there was a secret there that I missed, though. Uh, there's not a barrel around here, so unfortunately I didn't get that. That's boo. I missed out on potential secret almost intentionally. I actually didn't figure it was there. Jesus. Okay. So yeah, look at them. Look at these things. They're like red-eyed and stuff. They're like, yeesh. Now this is the point where you'll want to run, 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 run as fast as you can. Because these stop-and-go barrels are not going to stop. They're not going to... They're only going to stop for like a millisecond. And then they're going to go like crazy. Yeah. Speaking of which, I didn't even comment on the music, actually. This music sounds really creepy for a Super Nintendo game, really. Yeah. I love how there's so much variety in this in this game. Like, this is one of the best soundtracks on the Super Nintendo. And that's, well, me after complimenting, like, Final Fantasy VI has the best soundtrack ever in a Super Nintendo game. But, whatever. Just whatever. You know, I think that soundtrack is better than this one. It has a 21 and a half minute ending, for God's sake. <laughs> Oh, man. Okay. So, Milestone Mayhem is our penultimate level here in this world. And this is going to bring in the ancient level Aztec here. And, of course, this is going to introduce us to these enemies, Crushas. Um, I do believe they cannot be killed by... Oh. Oh, rather, they can be killed by, D by DK. I thought... I thought for like a half second they weren't, but... Yeah. I messed up. I'm sorry. I sometimes mess up on things. <laughs> but anyway, uh, Milestone Mayhem also has these little spinning naughty things here. That will kill you. They cannot be killed whatsoever. And yeah, they just can't be killed. And thankfully, since you actually jump if you get a hit, I was able to reach this bonus level where you have to spell out rare. Yeah, remember when they were actually proud to have their names on the game and not just some cheap cash-in by any sort of chance? No? Well, screw off then. <laughs> anyway, here we have the Engard bonus level. 
Um, I will say this, I'm not really the biggest fan of this uh, bonus level here. Um, to be told, I don't know really know why, it just takes a lot shorter time than- or rather, it takes a longer time to finish here than it does the other levels. I don't really know why. I mean, sure, it's still easy to get lives, but still. And what's up with the water? Did somebody, like, do an- do, like, an epic massacre or something so they just left the water blood red? I mean, seriously, man. Look at that. Look at that blood water. I don't like it. I just don't like it. What happened to the blue water? Or is it red pollutionization? I don't know. I don't know. But either way, I gotta find the Engar token before time runs out. I'm probably not gonna make it, but... I will try- Yeah! Yeah, boy! Yeah! Got it just in time! Alright, so we got that done. Huzzah. And now, we go out here. And I do believe... Nah. I don't think there was another secret right there. <laughs> I like those crush- I like the sound those crushes make. They're like, <laughs> Whenever- Whenever, uh, Diddy Kong hit- Whenever Diddy hits them. <laughs> it's almost like Elmer Fudd is like, I'm hunting Wabbit. Uh... <laughs> so stupid, yeah, it's so funny. <sighs> makes- Makes him totally non-threatening, mind you, but hey. That's what I like about Zant. <laughs> anyway. Um, I do believe you're supposed to take this tire, and... I do believe you're supposed to make it all the way up here, too. Die. Yeah. That's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to make it to die. That's what it is. But fortunately, since you fall over a bottomless pit, um... You don't lose your other Kong, so that would be really, really dickish if they did that choice. Like, hey, you won't fall over a bottomless pit when you have both Kongs? Well, too bad. You lose the other one. That would have been such a stupid design choice. But, hey, what are you gonna do? By the way, uh, I gotta get off this dude. Um, I do believe, uh, A releases you from the animal. And such. And, of course, just like Yoshi, um, whenever one of your animal friends gets hit, um, he will, like, jump all around the place and stuff. Ugh. You know what? Screw Winky. Screw it. It was just freaking impossible for me to do that. Ong! I have no idea where the K is. Uh, crap, crap! Ah! And... I don't like that at all, good sir. I don't really like that at all, and I think I was almost at the end right there. Right there. Yeah. I was pretty much at the end right there. Why do I keep saying at there? I'm turning southern... almost. Ooh! Jesus. That would've... I Well, at least I can show off this uh, bottom path. At least I showed off that. Yeah, that part right there with the whole mouse wheel thing, that can get really annoying. Because you gotta dunk under these things right here. And, wow. Did you just freaking jump? Yeah, seriously, like, if you leave the other Kongs to, like, go off on their own merry little way to heaven or something, they, like, jump all the way to heaven, seriously. It's like, I can't wait to dive! Whee! Jeez. That's more material for me than I can use. But, whatever. We got Cranky Kong there, so that figures, and I might as well save, because I don't really... Don't, well, actually, I'm using save states. What the heck am I thinking? What the heck am I smoking or thinking to do that? You're doing pretty good to get this far. And... We used to be lucky if we got our three shades of gray. Let alone any real colors. Alright, so, yeah. Anyway, you can skip this thing. And you can give him general hints and such. So, yeah. And here's actually a fun fact. Uh, Cranky Kong is actually the original Donkey Kong. I do believe. Well, according to the Nintendo canon, that is. But, who the hell knows and who the hell cares. Anyway, boss time. Neki's nuts. 
Ew. So anyway, again, this boss is relatively simple. Um, you may think the bosses may be simple now, but trust me when I say they do get better. All you really have to do is just to bounce off this tire and hit Neki like that, so he doesn't, like, spew coconuts out at ya. Like that. One thing I never got, actually, is that... I think those are supposed to be his eyebrows, but when I was a kid, I thought that was his head popping... His little top of the head popping off. I don't really know. I don't really know why I thought that. It's just that... I thought his head was, like, popping off or something, and it showed, like, his brain or something. <laughs> But whatever the case, we are now done with world number two, Monkey Mine, so we are now going to stop this episode here. Next time on Let's Play Donkey Kong Country, we're going through Vine Valley, the third world. See you guys on the next time. Thank you for watching and goodbye.